Yo, what is up, guys? You know who it is. It's Flashlight ZD here, and today, playing some little guessing. You know what it is? Demolition up in here, because it's the only game mode I ever play. And you know what I'm in the world now, right now? I'm about five thousand and five thousand something. I was like forty-nine thousand. Forty-nine thousand. What am I talking about? Four thousand nine hundred. I was about like right around there. But then after that, I went to uh, my went skiing, and right after that, I came back home, looked at my thing, and it was wasn't that good. But I only like went up in two days. Like after I came back, I only like lost like maybe two hundred, so it wasn't like really that bad. But you know me, always playing this demolition. You know, I don't. The only reason I really play this game mode, cause you get a ton of XP, like a major amount, like. If you're playing like any other game mode like Team Deathmatch, because that's Team Deathmatch is mostly the game mode for like people will, like just get on like once in a while, like on the weekends and want to play a couple matches, they play Team Deathmatch because I don't know if they just play it, but like most of the b better people play more like of the different game modes because like Team Deathmatch, you might get like literally, you might actually get like 2000 XP at least a game. 2000 XP a game, that's going to take you. Say you're like level 80 or not level 80 like in the 70s because the 70s usually takes the most amount of XP for you to rank up and like it takes me at least five six games to rank up one time in demolition. So if you're playing team deathmatch and you get in two two thousand XP a game, that's gonna take you at least probably like 15 games and that's if you're doing good. If you're doing like a really bad ratio, like 7 and 14, and then just getting like 10 and 9, you're not going to be getting like that good um, thing, but you're not going to get a lot of XP. You might even get a thousand bonus like at the end. But with Demolition, there's th pretty much four rounds if whoever wins. But so, like right now, I have like, I don't know, I think I get like 6,000 bonus a year because. I don't know. I get. Th I guess I get a lot of kills. But if you don't, um, like get a lot of kills, you're probably still gonna get a bonus of three thousand. And a bonus, of the sorry guys, bonus of three thousand is still a lot. So if you're gonna, if you wanna play a game mode like ranking up a ton and a ton of times, like if you wanna rank, if you're like level one, you got you guys should play um. Or first thing, if you're level one, you should play um search and destroy. Cause you only need one kill. If you, if you have double XP, you need one kill, and I think you rank up two times. So first, like for me, I th I think you guys should, if you guys uh, want to rank up and you level one, play uh, search a couple like ten games, and you'll probably be level on like ten or something. So you're level ten, and then you got all of your classes, and there you go. And then you should guys start playing um, demolition. Cause then you get uh, start getting bonuses like 500 at the start. Then you get a thousand, then 2,000, then three. Th look at that, 2,559. And I'm not really sure how many kills I got, but because this is an old gameplay, I got. Uh, I think I was still third prestige, but I'm not sure. Yeah, but if you guys are trying, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, you're about to probably gonna get two thousand, then three thousand, then four thousand, then five thousand. Most I ever got was six thousand bonus XP. Six thousand, six thousand bonus XP. Six thousand. That's about like that's like a that's almost like a ten thousand challenge, and that's for one round. But you gotta win. If you guys don't, if you don't win, then you're probably gonna get half of that, like three thousand. So your team has to win. For you get that to get that XP, and you only get that big bonus once, but the second time still getting 3,000, 2,000, and that's a good bonus. And bonuses that's about like seven, eight, nine thousand, and then with the 2,000, 8,000 XP just in bonuses. And if with the plus with the uh, kills, I don't that's gonna be a lot of XP right there, it's probably like 2,000. I'm just raping with these Predator Missiles. I think in this gameplay, I, did, I was just sitting in this building the whole time. And I was racking up kill. I was like, bah, bah, bah. Killing everyone up in here. Look at this. Predator Missile coming in. Oh, that's a Reaper. Round. Boom. Killed no one there. But I think I get like two Reapers. 
I just rape everyone. I'm a I'm a killer in this game. Boy, I think the good kill streaks are is a Reaper, Pred Missile, and a Chopper. I think those are the top three because they're less kill streaks. Like five, or you get your five kills. Then you get the Pred. If you get a double, if you get triple, then you're you already got the helicopter and then you need one more for the Reaper. So I think this is my favorite because it's the Reaper is pretty much like an AC-130, and plus you can control where you're like going. It's like a UAV on steroids because it sees where you, all the guys are, and you can shoot rockets out with a freaking control thing. It's pretty crazy. And I, right now I have Assassin. I think that's uh, I think that's a friendly MP. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's friendly MP. But with the Assassin, that's a good, another good perk to use if you're trying to get good gameplays for your commentaries or whatever you want. Use um assassin because first of all like uh EMPs in this game or everyone uses because like it's uh not a kill streak it's a point streak so it won't go away till you get that so there's gonna be a lot of EMPs so if you don't if you have an EM uh assassin on you it won't affect you like you can still see your HUD and your uh who's winning time everything and in your whole other team if they don't have the uh, uh, assassin on or it has to be assassin pro but if they don't have it on they're gonna be seeing the freaking crappy uh color correction thing they made in for the emp so good uh definitely use assassin if you're trying to go for gameplays or if you hate like that emp crap plus it's a ump plus for, i mean not ump um for a UAV and uh, counter UAV, all that stuff, it doesn't affect you because it's you have Assassin Pro, you know, you're stealthy. Like, when does a ninja ever get caught? Never, right? Yeah, so use Assassin Pro. Right now, I'll get double kill, typical easy kill. Like, right now, I got my Reaper right now. I'm, I I think I save it till next game, or if the, I think after this gets blown up. If it does, I, I'm not really sure because it's older gameplay. But if it does, I think I go and I use the Reaper. But like for the Scar, the Scar is my was my favorite uh, gun, or oh, it still is. My second favorite is the MP7. That's the submachine gun. But with this, the Scar. Wait, what you guys got to do if you guys like if you guys use this gun without a silencer it's it kills them better but you got to you got to use a silencer on it cuz it's amazing it does like it has a little bit less damage but it's still like amazing it probably is like the best um probably one of the best assault rifles in this game because with the silencer there's no recoil right plus they can't see you on the UAV plus I mean on the HUD and it's still like an effective gun. So they and they're not gonna hear you or they're not gonna see you in the HUD. So might as well just use it and it, it's another good gun for gameplays. I think all my gameplays I've been using the scar, but last game for the New Year's how I was using the MP seven, but but I think all my gameplays I've been using the scar because I think the scar is like my favorite like I think the third prestige third prestige I never used I use the L ninety six A or whatever one time and other than that I only use this gun right here the scar that's how much I love the scar but like not because I have gold on it and I didn't have um double weapon XP so it helped me a lot so right now I think I get a triple maybe a quad oh I got a quad <laughs> I didn't even knew I got a quad on that too oh like I showed you something pretty cool right there a quad Quad in that com. Um, what happened right there? Oh, Reaper. This is kind. Of, I mean, I have no clue what happened in this game because it was, I think, two weeks. No, this happened during break or, or it's break. So I'm not. I'm not really sure. I think this was, like, probably one of the weeks of break I have, but it's like I'm, I'm doing pretty good in this com. But, um, what else should I talk about right now? Um, hmm, let me think. Some good perks to use. I, I'm usually use, all I use is Assassin, Scavenger, and Stalker Pro. 
Uh, with Stalker Pro, I, I think it's... I, at first, I thought it was stupid, but, like, moving yeah. around faster when you're sighting in. But without it, like, <laughs> like when I before, uh, like, level 1, when I'd use, like, the G36 without a Stalker on, the guy moves, like, he's freaking so... Like, a freaking sumo wrestler, like, uh, trying to... Struggling, trying to get a Big Mac or something. He's like, ugh. They move like so slow, I can't even stand it. So I have to use Stalker Pro now. Because, plus, like, on um, inside moves on the play, ah, uh, what's it called? The Xbox dashboard. They said use, like, this technique where you move side to side, so it's harder for the guy to shoot you. And that's a good thing to do with uh, Stalker Pro. Like, move back and forth, move back and forth. And then it's harder for them to shoot you. And that's what I do a lot because it's, um, easy thing to affect them not to kill you and um with um what was the other part scavenger yeah if like if i don't have scavenger you only get um wait i don't think i have scavenger right, right now because i only have 90 bullets yeah i guess i don't have it but with scavenger if you don't have scavenger and you're trying to go for like big like good kd you're probably not gonna really do that good but i'm i'm not really sure but like without scavenger, I would be really bad because you get 180 bullets, and that's gonna last you for the like. I never ran out of that amount if unless I was just spraying around, messing around. But other than that, I just keep on demolishing and raping everyone. Like because you just camp in one spot, sit the you can sit through the whole game with your scavenger pro if, unless you're like spraying around like an idiot. If you're like ah. Uh, like saving up your bullets, uh, like being smart all about it, you're gonna do really good with scavenger. I'm, and oh, you know what's really good about demolition too? Like in demolition, there's overtime, so you're gonna get if you win that, you might get even a two thousand bonus. So say if you get the six thousand six thousand bonus the first time you win, then the other team wins. That's um, it's tied up, right? So you get another you get another three thousand, and then if you win the next, you're probably gonna get two thousand. So that is 3,000, 6,000, 9,000, there'd be 11,000 XP that you get total. Alright guys, alright, this is the end of the video right now. I'm not sure what I went, but here's the kill cam. The guy's spraying around with the striker, and that's my least favorite gun in the game, but what do you, can you do? Boom, he gets blown up because that's karma using that gun. Uh, match bonus, only 664. That's not really good, but... Um, what I get? 53 and 7, and I'm, I think I'm on level 22, but this is the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe, favorite, whatever, dude. Help me out. Alright, thanks.